What's up guys? I'm Coleco and this is R2. And R2 brought it to my attention that Nike has a little secret. So we're gonna get to the bottom of that today. Stay tuned. So I bought this pair off eBay and the seller had 13 um, reviews. One of them was from selling. The other 12 was from him buying things or her. I think it's him. Well, I read the name. Anyway, so it was kind of a risk. It was a good price because the price of this shoe is only going up. I live in Hawaii and this shoe came from New York and it was pretty fast shipping. So I was hesitant to find out if it was real or not. You know, I was kind of like iffy about it. So this came in on Thursday, which is five days after, which is really fast from New York to Hawaii. And let's just open it to see if it's the real deal. It sounds like it's a shoe box and there's the right size and it's a Nike box, so. The seller was really great with communication, so. Let's find out. Okay, get this. Okay, this is the shoe. Smells all right. What do you think, R2? <laughs> I guess I don't know what that is. Alrighty, guys. This is the Nike Overbreak. Now, don't worry. I know it looks weird without the top, but in the description, when I bought it, the seller said the top is going to be off. Came with extra laces and the shoes. All right, this shoe is the baby of the Nike Daybreak and the Nike Overreact. So it has a Nike Overreact show, sole, has a Nike Overreact sole, and the Daybreak um, top. Very uh, old school and new school, all in one. Guys, I gotta say, I really like these shoes. I like the colorway. I like browns for some reason. Um, I really like this light brown tan okay i guess it's tan suede color i like the way the laces pop one thing you notice if you get if you get these shoes or even if you see it online you notice that it looks kind of kind of weird kind of like a spray painted airbrushed type of deal going on you see like what how it's supposed to be black over here but it's actually sprayed and it's not really sprayed well even if I flip this down, you see how it's like, it has this bright red, orangey type of deal. I'd say it's like more orangey. It's kind of weird, right? Even the laces. See how there's just gray dust all over the place. It looks like I just uh, went through and did some drywalling. And that's a secret that R2 picked up when he was like, Whoa, 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 whoa. This looks like another type of shoe. And I was like, wait, R2, what are you talking about? Well, this is the college gray, right? That's R2. This is a reenactment. Thank you, R2. This shoe is actually another shoe that actually did get sprayed on certain areas. And this shoe is called the college gray overreact, but it's actually a fossil overreact, right? Here. Speaking of the fossil colorway, that fossil colorway looks like the Tom Sachs Mars Yard shoe, which is really obvious if you if you compare them both. The Nike on the tongue and the, the red swooshes is super obvious. And the black accents on the soles, it has to be a Mars Yard, right? And I really love the Mars Yard shoe. And let's be honest, guys, this is the closest that we're going to get to owning a Mars Yard shoe because those shoes are ridiculous prices right now. And even the original fossil colorway that's originally released in Japan is going for way more than double the price of a retail because of that colorway. And I really dig the Mars Yard colorway. So I'm gonna try my best to make a makeshift Mars Yard um, overbreak thing and try to Take this, the paint off with some acetone. We're gonna try a couple different things. Uh, I know Volt Studios here on YouTube has a video of them taking off the paint of these and making it unveiling, unveiling the Mars Yard colorway. So let's do it. All right guys, I got the shoes. I'm gonna use some Q-tips and I got some acetone. So I'm gonna try to do this cleaning montage. 
So I'm going to try a little spot to see how the acetone works with the, the regular paint. Because I don't want it to ruin the orange red underneath because I don't want to strip that off. Yo, it's coming off. Look at this. You see that? It's coming off pretty clean. It's not taking the paint off the other, the um, underneath side. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's go. Time lapse. Alright guys, you see how um, that Nike is coming off, it actually is supposed to have black letters, but um, I think I took too much off, so probably going to have to repaint that black after, but let's finish this up. Uh, if you ask me honestly, this toe cap area is like my favorite part of the shoe, so let's try to take that off see how it comes off. Alright guys, check it out. I took some of the paint off on the spots where I wanted to. Kind of see that uh, rubbery toe. That's my favorite part, by the way. Took some parts off of the sole, the black part of the soles. Um, this area, yeah, right here, the paint was still in the grooves. So I'm going to get that out later, but you guys get the point, right? See that? The Nike is supposed to actually actually be uh, black, but the paint came off with the acetone. And for some reason, I don't know, the, this back part, I think they sprayed extra. So it's really hard. I kept on rubbing and rubbing, but no luck. Maybe I'll get after, after it later, but if you still see, like... Kind of like it like this, like with the gray after spray on it, just to show like, yo, this is one shoe that was meant to be a one colorway, but they sprayed it and sold it as another colorway. So it has like a little secret story of, it, of itself. So I'm going to go do the other one and get some after shots. Here's the before and here's the after. So here's the finished product. Um, this is how they look at the moment. If I'm not too lazy, I'm gonna paint these um, the Nike logos in the back. So I switched the laces out with the extra set that it came with. So I pretty much turned the Nike College Gray color into the Nike Fossil color of the Overbreak. And if you ask me, the Fossil color looks a lot like the Tom Sachs 2.5 that are probably gonna come out this year. That's probably a big reason why maybe Tom Sachs people told Nike, uh, yo, that looks a lot like the colorway. We shouldn't sell it in the North American region. 
So Nike just sprayed things real fast and sent them out and named it College Gray. So this is a cool little little secret that the shoe had. R2, what do you think? Come. You think we solved it? <laughs> I guess. I guess that's a yes. All right. Like and subscribe, guys. Thank you, Josh, for the beats again. Till the next secret. Have a good one.